I'm Mayor Sandy Stimson coming to you from my office. It's Monday, May 11th, and I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to 5 p.m. this afternoon, as are a lot of uh, restaurant owners and patrons of those restaurants. It's going to be real interesting to see how it rolls out over the next few weeks. Uh, we actually know that uh, this, some of the supply chain has been broken and not all the restaurants have all the supplies that they need, but they're working diligently on that to make sure that when you come to their restaurant that you'll be able to uh, feel safe, the social distancing, and they'll have uh, the food that you're expecting. Uh, also, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that uh, at 5 o'clock this afternoon they have their barber shop appointment. And I feel certain that's probably true for some of the ladies who will go to the beauty salons. So anyway, if it's not today, I know it'll be tomorrow. So that's good that the uh, governor reopened those, and I know there are a lot of people that are excited about that. You know, the one thing I'd like to mention to you is that our Ignite Mobile campaign, which was for the close contact businesses, for them to be able to go online and register you know, for, to get a grant from the city. Now that's going well. We accepted grant proposals beginning Tuesday. We closed it on Friday. And we're in the process of processing those proposals or those uh, grant requests. And actually, I think there's over 300 of them. And we've processed 100. The hope is, is that tomorrow, when the city council meets, that they will approve the uh, this program and that at that point in time we'll be able to start distributing money to those who qualify and I feel certain that once the City Council votes that for those applications which have been processed uh, we'll be able to kind of hit the send button and uh, many of those the owners of those rest excuse me the rest of the owners of those uh, beauty salons and barbershops will be able to receive uh, wire transfers into their accounts. So that's a huge step, I think, toward bridging that uh, gap when they had no money. And I know that they're probably more excited about uh, being able to go back to work, but I know that the money that we come into them is equally as important. You know, I've been asked the question about uh, the city employees and how many do you have teleworking and, and what's the plan for the bringing them back to Government Plaza? And just for everybody's information, we have over 200 that were in Government Plaza that are now home working and have been over the last several weeks. It's interesting to us that we were able to make that transition in, in a relatively short period of time by buying laptops, getting them set up properly, getting them secured so that they couldn't be hacked. And amazingly, you know, from our perspective, and I'm sure you'll let me know if it's different than this, but from our permitting standpoint, we have almost not missed a lick. And from business licensing and some of the other things, the financial department, we don't think that we've missed a single lick in this whole deal. We've been able to continue the business of the city, uh, which makes us feel really good. And some of the things that we learned over the last few weeks, we will continue to do as we go forward. But the idea is that probably a week from now, we will start the process of bringing those teleworkers who work for the City Mobile back into Government Plaza, and we'll probably do that over a period of three weeks. We want to make sure that they feel comfortable about coming back to work, that they feel like that we've done everything we can to protect their health. And so each department head has been working on a plan specifically for their department and how they will bring them back um, back to work. So at this time, I'll turn to George and uh, ask George what questions might he have from the media. You've got, regarding the reopening of restaurants, uh, is there any proposal to expand the outdoor dining options in the public right-of-way in Mobile? Is that something that uh, we will be asking of the city council? Yeah, so we will definitely be approaching the city council with a request about allowing restaurants to uh, set seating up either on sidewalks or in the rights of way. And it really, it's going to be a case by case basis of what the restaurant, what the restaurant's desire is until we really understand what the restaurants want. Um, it's 
we're not quite prepared to have a specific ask for the city council. Other than I do believe that the uh, legal department is working on that request, probably have it framed up by tomorrow. And then once they frame it up, then we'll be able to go back to the restaurants and say that you can do this and do that. What about public parks or reopening public swimming pools? So, so Shonda Smith, the director of Senior Director of Parks and Rec, she's working on a plan right now to open up the parks, uh, and which would include the swimming pools uh, and the play areas, but we're not ready to announce what that is yet. We don't have a date of when that's gonna actually happen, but she'll let you know uh, as soon as it's uh, proposed and approved. A couple questions about crime. There were four homicides mm -hmm. in the city since the governor's announcement about mm -hmm lifting restrictions on the safer at home order. Are you concerned about the homicide rate climbing? Yes, whether it has, it has, my concern has nothing to do with the governor's release of the stay at home, the safer at home order. It has everything to do with just the impact of homicide. I don't think the two are connected, uh, but as always, we're very concerned anytime you have a weekend like we, had this past weekend. We had multiple homicides. They were separate from each other. We don't have any, can't connect the dots on any of them. It's a sad state of affairs when it comes to conflict resolution that many don't know how to handle that and they resort to violence to settle disputes. Uh, that's something that we'll continue to work on. My understanding is Chief Patisse will be addressing similar questions later today. One more on that mm -hmm. note, does this cause you to consider some type of curfew returning? No, we're, we're not considering returning to the curfew. No, we're not doing that. That's it. All right, so thank you for joining us this afternoon. I look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Take care.